Yo, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com, and this is my tutorial on how to make a ridiculously heavy gangster beat, similar to those made by Dr. Dre. This tutorial will cover some more advanced routing with Redrum, and some more useful stuff on effects like compression and stereo imaging to make the beat sound more professional. I'll start off by playing you the loop here. Yeah, I've just made a quick gangster loop here, and in the tutorial we'll be making this beat thing to remember with this type of beat is it's all about layering and compression. The snare is composed of three different samples if you listen to it and that they just compress like crazy until it sounds sufficiently powerful enough to get those low riders bouncing. Okay, let's begin. Right click the interface and create a combinator and this will hold all the devices we're going to use to make this beat. Let's just name it now so we don't forget. Um, gangster beat. Okay, right click inside the combinator and create a line mixer 6.2 and we're going to route the things from Redrum into this mixer later on in the tutorial. Okay, now let's right click it and create Redrum, drum computer. This is what's going to be making our beat. I'll just load up the, uh, the drum kit I've made for this tutorial. Yeah, as I've said in previous tutorials, with all drum beats, the beat is only as good as the samples it's made from. You can't make a good beat with bad samples. You can download the kit used in this tutorial and all the samples from my website, www.boyinabound.com. Okay, well, this beat comprises two kicks, three claps, and a hi-hat. And let's get to work in putting them into the order. Okay, let's start with the kicks. You put one kick on the 1, 9, and 11, and this one on the same, 1, 9, and 11, it's both kicks. Then if you put the first kick also on the 16, it will give a kind of shuffle effect when we add this shuffle, um, when we press the shuffle button down. Um, I'll, I'll wait till I've got the whole beat to show you. and. The hi hat goes on all of the all of the uh, steps, and the snares all of the snares on five and thirteen. Okay, five thirteen, five thirteen. Now, if we run that beat, there we've got that beat already there, and you can hear that shuffle going on. But da dum, it's not a straight beat. That's without the shuffle, and then with the shuffle. Gives it a kind of bounce to it, which is cool. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of routing. Press the tab key to look behind the uh, the reason rack, and drag the, the kick, the other kick, and the hi-hat channels to the line 62 mixer that we've created and this will mean that only the snares are coming out of the stereo out output of the reason of the uh, redrum interface and that means that we can apply the effects directly to redrum to to um, affect the snare okay now let's start on those effects right click redrum and create an m class stereo imager okay now, a stereo imager is used to widen the sound so the whole track feels more powerful and the snare is the focus of the beat. So a good, a good trick when mixing is to make the most powerful focal part of music wider in the stereo field um, than the other instruments. Okay, so take the crossover frequency down to about a quarter and let's widen that up. There we go. The top, that, that's taken the top of the snare and just put it left and right a bit just to get to bring it out of the mix a bit more okay now it'll be more noticeable in the next step you just watch right click create m class compressor now just whack up the input gain threshold and ratio all up to full see that that just um, compresses the decay of the snare a bit and in general just gets the level up and now the the last 
um, M class unit we'll be using, create M class maximizer. Now, turn the gain up to full and add the four milliseconds look ahead. Now that just, um, it's a limiter, the maximizer is, which makes the snare as loud as possible without distorting. Okay. And the form MS look ahead means it gets the uh, the attack of the snare in there as well. All right. Now, the, the last effects unit we're going to use. Right click, create, RV7000 advanced reverb. Now you don't want that much reverb. Just turn it to about maybe a quarter. And that just adds a bit more decay onto the snare there. And then, if you have a listen to that in the track, We have our awesome gangster beat. Buy a really cool, expensive car with some speakers worthy of pumping this awesome beat and get pumping it. Incidentally, if you haven't checked out my band You and What Army yet, you probably should. It's all about powerful, epic music. The beat currently playing is from a track called Starcadia. Head over to our MySpace and give it a listen. Cheers for watching! If you found this tutorial useful, Help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website www.boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!